Hey YouTube, Carl KC8YLT here. I'm going to make a uh, video of my uh, Wolf River Coils vertical antenna. This is the antenna I'm currently using for uh, 20 and 40 meters. I'm here in the backyard, so it's kind of noisy. That's the main vertical element. Do a quick discussion here about it. It's mounted on a uh, eight-foot ground rod. It's driven about uh, almost seven feet in the ground, and uh, the base of the antenna uses thumb bolts to uh, tighten and grip the uh, copper. Uh, it's a steel ground rod with copper plating. You see my connection here. It's not real good, but. Center wire going here, round wire going down to here, which is in contact with the uh, ground rod. This wire you see here, using that as a radial. That's kind of kind of cheap, but it works. It's the aluminum fence wire. I've got to bury it yet, and I still haven't done it. That's part of it there, and it goes on and on and on. All together, it's probably 75 feet long. The adjustment coil. It's, uh, the adjustment is done by moving this sleeve up and down. I use a uh, MFJ antenna analyzer to uh, put it back on frequency or whatever band I want to operate on. And it does well um, uh, 10 meters through uh, 75 and 80. I think it does. I like it better on 20 meters. 40 meters does good. I I, uh, on 20 meters there, when I talked to Europe here a while back, this is the antenna I've been using. Uh, the 3 watts of power, I know that's hard to believe, but it worked. Of course, you got to get in there and when trying to make a contact and stay diligent and keep trying. Uh, that's how they hear you. <clears throat> my, uh, my opinion of the antenna is pretty good. I bought this uh, back before the spring. I like the construction of it. I like its aluminum tubing. These are pieces that interlock with each other. The only problem I have with it is high wind. Now sometimes we do have high wind down through here in this valley I live in. But uh, what I do is I just come out here. There's a little clip right, right there. Push that in. Pull this piece up and uh, comes apart. I just lay it on the ground. And uh, that's when storm comes or whatever. And that takes care of that. But uh, overall, I like the antenna. <clears throat> I think it's pretty easy to use, pretty mobile. I've taken it to work with me. And I use a piece of conduit up there as a uh, ground rod. <clears throat> but uh, the one thing that really helps on this is uh, a good ground. And radial. Using a radial wire, I uh, prefer using uh, copper stranded wire and uh, to do this right. And I'm running about 40 feet of uh, CB coaxial cable. Works for me. But uh, I like the construction of the coil also. I don't know if it's stainless or what that is. Does it rust? Got all kinds of grass on it where it's been where I've mowed. Uh, heat shrink heat shrink tubing around this. And down here the thumb bolts. It's been out it exposed to all kinds of weather, including snow. Uh, still doing fine. No rust problem. But uh overall, I like the antenna. Would I recommend it to anybody else? Yes, I would. Uh, if you're living in a tight area, or what I mean by tight area, I mean an area where you don't have a lot of room. I think these antennas do well, but it does help to uh, you have something like an antenna analyzer to set standing wave width to make it resonant. So. Well, hope that helps y'all. I think that main uh, vertical element is 13 feet, somewhere around there. But uh, yeah, hope that, uh, for those of you who want to know about the antenna, uh, hope that answers any of your questions. If not, you feel free to ask me. So uh, I'll say 73s. And uh, more videos yet to come. Thanks.